just want to talk to those who might say, well, you know, I'm, I, I really am doubting whether there's a God. Maybe you're a Christian and you're doubting God. Maybe you're an agnostic and you're doubting God. But either way, you do you God or not anymore. Is there anything that can be said to convince you? I think the first place to start is read your Bible. You might say, well, I've read my Bible. I see contradictions in it. I don't see it accord with science. It seems sexist, bigoted, whatever. Um, I, it just doesn't do it for me. Well, my answer to that would be this. is First of all, open the Bible to the Gospel of John and read the Gospel of John chapter by chapter. And ask yourself, ask God if he's there to speak to you. That, that will be a blessing to you, I promise. The second thing is, is read some of the great Christian classic books. Read C.S. Lewis, Mere Christianity. Uh, read some of Francis Schaeffer's books, Escape from Reason. Yeah. Thirdly, uh, there are some really helpful uh, apologetic le lectures by William Lane Craig, John Lennox, um, C.S. Lewis Institute, Ravi Zachariah. These lectures and websites will help you. Um, Presuppositional Apologetics 101, uh, Covenant Theological Seminary, Reformed Theological Seminary, Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, uh, all provide free courses that you can uh, have a look at iTunes on any particular topic that will help you. Uh, a, a reformed apologist is James White. Um, uh, uh, and um, So read some good books, listen to some good lectures, have a chat with other people who are mature in the faith. If you've got an intellectual question or problem um, who may know more about it than you. Always remember that there are people out there to uh, steer you in the wrong direction. There'll be no amount of uh, skeptics who will want to draw you into their fold. Um, and be aware of that. Uh, they will try to befriend you. They will try to present their position to you, to try and win you over, to try and break down your barriers, to bring you into the fold. But if you're become a true believer you'll know what they're trying to do so be aware that there were people trying to pull you away from God um, I would just encourage you to think about the gospel think about what Jesus did he died on a cross he was punished for your sin you're a sinner he died for you and from that position if you come into a relationship with God God will then answer your questions God will deal with them. I hope this is a bit advice that is a help to you. And um, I've been to two seminaries. I've been to a liberal seminary, evangelical. I've listened to all sorts of lecture lecturers, gay lecturers, uh, liberal lecturers, uh, and evangelical lecturers. And I can honestly say that for me, I've come to realize that the Christian faith is true, and I've not gone the way of liberalism. I've not gone the way of that kind of false Christianity but I have gone the way of biblical Christianity because I believe it it's true it's based on good reasons and evidence and um, it's all there for you to to find if you want to study uh, have if you've got some really difficult intellectual problems go to tectonic apologetics uh, apologetics press apologetics 13 uh, dr. Phil Fernandez uh, um, Ravi Zachariah's website and C.S. Lewis Institute uh, these are places that you can go um, have a look at the Discovery Institute um, these are helpful places that will help you and encourage you and also Labrie Fellowship uh, you can go on to their website and find at Labrie Fellowship lectures and also you can go and stay in the summer if you want to think through issues I hope that has been a help to you. you. Yes, you can go to the Labrie Fellowship and study there if you want to know more about Christianity.